Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's me, DeBolt the Bear, and with the most recent chapter, we have Vecna joining the roster of killers, and with him come three unique perks, but we're not going to be doing the three unique perks, we're only going to be using one of them, and this build is essentially something that uses survivor's items against them, but before we get into that, make sure to slap a like on the video, sub if you want to, and if you are subbed, make sure to hit the bell and click all so that you receive notifications that I have a new video out so you can enjoy it and give me comments on what you guys want to see more of. But with that out of the way, let's get into the build. We have Lethal Pursuer. At the start of the trial, the auras of all survivors are revealed to you for 9 seconds. Anytime a survivor's aura is shown for a period of time, its duration is increased by 2 seconds. Partner that with Weave Attunement. When an item becomes depleted for the first time, it is dropped. You see the auras of dropped items. Survivors with 12 meters, uh, within 12 meters of dropped items have their auras revealed to you. When a survivor picks up a survivor item, they suffer the oblivious status effect for 30 seconds. Then we have Franklin's Demise. Your basic attacks make survivors drop their item on impact. While on the ground, it takes up to 90 seconds for the item to lose all of its charges if it is not picked up. Reveal items on the ground within 32 meters with a white aura. The aura will slowly fade to red until the item is empty of charges. These two, not sure how well they partner, but I've had a lot of like good like synergy with them on stream so recording hopefully we get some good matches with them and then we have pop goes the weasel after hooking a survivor the next generator you damage instantly loses 20 percent of its current progress normal generator regression applies after the damage generator action pop goes the weasel is active for 45 seconds after the survivor is hooked this is post nerf now we are in a 20 percent regression uh meta now whatever i don't even know if it's meta anymore but i'm gonna use it i still like it and then for the add-ons we have the the ring of spell storing decreases the cooldown of all spells by four seconds and then the ring of telekinesis decreases the time it takes mage's hand to lift the pallet by 35 percent but that's the build guys i hope to i hope it goes well and i will see you in the match all right we got vecna here with the garden of joy and the build that I plan on using for him for a little bit to see how it works. We got a little bit of kind of using survivor items against them. We're going to rotate around. Hi. Hey, hi. Nice. That's that's going to be super hard to time a lot of the a lot of the time. That was redundant. I'm sorry. Uh, let's see if we can't find anybody else. We'll use fly here. Where you at? Yo. I'm coming for you. Alright. I do like a lot of his abilities. His abilities are fun. It's just, uh... Mm, I was planning... I need to be able to use that faster. So this isn't the most ideal start to the game, but that's okay. You can always make a recovery. Ooh, I think I just missed that. I don't think she actually ducked that. They're not doing they, they're not doing too bad. They are holding W. I wonder if that's kind of like the counter to this this character is to uh hold W on him. I mean, he can just use fly and catch up, but then when that's on cooldown, like we'll we'll block this pallet here and we should get a hit. And then it flies back off a of cooldown. We should be able to catch up pretty quickly. Ooh, unfortunately, we do eat the stun there. Throw that there, just in case. I did hear that generator going off. But how do you guys feel about Vecna? What do you think? Is he strong, weak? I'm, I'm, I'm going on the out on a limb and saying he's pretty strong. But it's it's also heavily player based too. Once people start learning like tricks and stuff to uh, to stop him, is when uh, he's gonna be like his his true strength is where you can put him. You know, you know if that makes sense. We'll pop this. All right, that's one gen. I had a bad start, so this is understandable. Let's use fly to get over here. It is pretty nice to be able to move fast. We get a hit here. 
he vaults that again, we should be able to... Nice, he ducked it. He can't take this, right? Oh, yeah, he can. Now he can't. Alright, is he gonna rotate this way? He's gonna rotate this pallet. Let's block that. He shouldn't be able to make anything... Yeah, he blocked this window. So we get the down here. We'll pop them up. Okay, another gen done. We're not doing we're not doing too well. But that's alright. The less generators there are, the better for us, anyways. Thought I saw somebody over there. Maybe not. If you notice, I don't I don't really use the uh the sphere very often. I just personally oh she finished that. I personally, I'm not a huge fan of it. I probably should use it to throw at gens and stuff, but it is what it is. All right, we'll rotate around here, see if we can't catch her off guard. And we did. Nice, easy down. We need more of those. We, we need a lot more of those, actually. Where are my hooks, bro? We'll throw this up. The build's not really doing anything so far. Oh, never mind. All right. So if you guys don't know, uh, I prob I've probably explained it into the in the in introduction. <laughs> Sorry. Um, whenever they drop items, they're, they're, like they're gonna show auras, and when they deplete items, they they also show auras. So I actually just ducked that. All right. This should be a hit here. All right. See, we do have ore reading here. So this is nice. This this build is nice if you, for just seeing survivors. Hmm, what do I want here? Oh, we caught her out. We'll pick her up. So Vecna's perk is kind of situational. Like, look at the, all the ore reading we have, dude. Because their items are all depleted over there. Can I get this? Very cool. Very cool. We just know where everybody is. We blocked that. She can't do anything about it. And we get the down. Pop this. And we'll pick her up. Yeah, dude. The, the the information you get because most survivors are gonna bring an item in, right? Oh, I got stuck on the totem, bro. That's so annoying. We'll send this here. We get the hit. Very nice. And we get the down. This is the comeback we needed. We needed to get this kind of pressure. Thought I heard something. It might have been her, though. Pop them right on the hook. And our fly's not back yet, but we do see them. And we pull fly. And we get over here quick to disrupt the healing that they got. Um... I don't want to play Shaq, so I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play this against her. Damn, that sucks. Can we? Yeah. Did we get her? We get this hit. Ooh, nice, dude. And then we're gonna. Um. You know what? I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna try and hit her on the vault. Oh, let's go, dude. Let's go. That's the trick, man. You gotta hit that. You gotta hit her on the vault. You gotta time those things, otherwise they're just gonna crouch it every time. And boop. On the hook she goes. Into the basement she goes, too. Oh, and she DC'd. Oh, brother, you're a stinker. <laughs> 
Oh, she can't. She can't handle it, dude. She can't handle Vecna, man. They had such a strong start, too, and we're, we're like, bringing it back. I don't know if he's going to commit over here. Did I see him? Um, I thought I heard him. Nah, he stayed over here. I think I might have made a misplay right there. Yeah, I did. I did. I did. He ran over here. Oh, he got he got some insane distance, dude. Where are you running, man? Where are you running? Uh, I, did I see somebody run in there? All right. Yeah, you got to time that perfectly. We'll get hit on Claudette. And then we'll get a hit on... Oh. Oh. Well, and then the bot threw the pallet. No. No, not the pallet. Oh, brother. All right, we'll put them up on the hook. And boop. She's dead. I do see them on the gen there. Vecna has so many cool abilities, dude. Yeah. You... Oh, it's the bot. Oh, I just missed her, bro. Oh, she outran me. We'll bring out Mage Hand. Dude, I just mind gamed the bot, bro. The bot couldn't react as fast as I can react. <laughs> Alright, we'll throw her up. You see what I'm getting at with this build, though? Like, having the auras is just super nice, dude. It's just good. Let's, uh... I think we can break some of these pallets now. We'll pop this. And kind of patrol these gens while also taking care of any pallets that are down. I'm not. They, I'm not really concerned. <coughs> Sorry. Oh wow. Yeah. Or a reading. <laughs> Gosh, dude, that perk is so good. Just so you know, it's only... Aw, oh, man. That's... It's only good if they bring items. Oh, well, I guess it could be just good on Vecna in general because the people are going to use the uh, the die the die chest. So, it's good on Vecna no matter what. But we're going to hook her up, and that's going to be a GG's, guys. GG's. All right, and as you know, it wouldn't be one of my videos if we didn't have Xenomorph in it somewhere. We're going to take the build I just had, but we're going to expand on it. We're going to make it more about the items, right? So what we have, we should actually, I should say more about the items and the auras. We have the Weave of Attunement. I don't need to, re I don't need to say that over again, or Franklin's. But what we added was Overwhelming Presence. Survivors within your terror radius suffer from inefficiency. Affected survivors' item consumption rates are increased by 100%. This will force the survivors to drop the items faster if we're around them. Then we have Hoarder. Survivors reveal their location when they interact with the chest or when they pick up an item within 64 meters of your location. The trial begins with up to two additional chests in the environment. Hopefully we get people going through chests and that we get them to use their items faster so they drop them and that we have more aura reading. So... Then we have the self-destruct bolt increases vault speed by 30% while in crawler mode. That's just so we have something for chase. We don't really have anything chase oriented, but Xenomorph has enough in their kit to where we don't need anything extra. And then for more aura reading, we have improvised cattle prod. Each time a generator is completed, a 15 second timer starts. Any survivor who comes within 10 meters of a control station during that time has their aura revealed for the remainder of the timer. Great perk, sorry, great add on. And it will really go well with all the aura reading that we have. Alright, and with that, I will see you guys in the match. Hopefully it goes well. Alright, so we have Xenomorph this time. With a build centered solely around items. And seeing people and making them use items faster. Just knowing what everybody's doing is key here. Let's see what we got. And 
I saw scratch marks, I think. Did I? Or am I just crazy, dude? Am I just crazy? I thought I saw scratch marks. I'm going to check around the back, too. Just in case. You never know. Well, I see a little Rebecca there. Hello, Rebecca. We'll fake that. Oh, she got sprint burst. She faked me out, bro. She done faked me out. <laughs> we'll hit her with the tail attack here. It doesn't look like she's holding an item. We'll fake that. Go around. Yeah, it doesn't look like she's holding an item, so we can just uh, not worry about the M1 there for the Franklins. For the Frankies, we're going to get a hit here. That's just, like, that That side of the pallet is, it's just not it. It's just not it. We'll put her up on the hook. Boop. All right, then we'll go into the tunnel. Bum, 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 Instant unhook. Let's see if somebody's here. Nobody's here. But this one's getting worked. Whoa. I hate the skybox, bro. Why can't we just free fall, man? Ah, uh, he's got sprint burst, too. He's got a little bit of sprint burst, too. If I can, I would very... Oh, I am definitely going to break this chase and head to the basement. Well, hello, Michaela. That's... Oh, I forgot. That got buffed, too, didn't it? Yeah, the invocation got buffed this, this patch, too. So, uh, we have a 60-second timer now, right? That's crazy, man. Oh, I see you. Okay, one gen done. I heard her pick up. I'm assuming that was a key. I heard her pick it up, though. So. We are going to make her drop that, though. You're not allowed, you're not allowed to use that. She's going to drop down, right? She's dropping down. I don't really mind that right now. I am taking this item away from you, though. No. Ooh, I see somebody going for that save. Somebody's going for the save. We're going to cut her off. And they should... Yeah, he's coming back to take the to take the hit for her. And we get his item. Very cool, very cool. Sometimes you can get away with just for, like making them think you're going to tunnel, bro. <laughs> it's so funny. All right, we get him down. We see... I'm, we'll break that. Uh, oh, she popped that gen up top, didn't she? She did. Um, this is risky. All right, we're just going to pick up. And then we'll pick up, put her, put her, put him on hook. And then, uh, we'll act like we're going upstairs, right? You think she drops? I don't think she drops. I think she's actually running around. She is. <laughs> nice, dude. Nice. We should get this. She took the back way. Nice. She baited out the she baited out the tail attack. That's all right though. We'll just rotate around. Yeah, we'll just keep rotating. She like th this is not a great loop for her. All right, we get her, pick her up, and we'll throw her back on the hook. And then I'm gonna go back over there because I have a feeling those guys are healing under hook. With everybody being injured, you don't want that, especially against Xenomorph. It's hard to know how much value I'm getting out of, uh, I forget what the perk's called, the one that makes your items deplete faster. We'll break both. Because why not? Just make them have to work extra. Alright. Okay, that's a weird choice that he's that he chose. He chose to heal her. Instead of him getting healed. And he DC'd for it. What? Is that logic, bro? Why wouldn't you heal? I mean, get, you get healed since you just got off the hook. I'm going to stay here a second. I'm going to sit here a second. I can see you. 
Can you see me? Can you see my... Oh, you can see my red glow through the thing, huh? <laughs> Is this a dead heart? You're looking behind you a lot. I'm taking that. And you're going in basement. <laughs> he kind of threw doing that. Okay, I see them. They're going in for the save. So, as you can see, insane aura reading value, dude. Just just having uh, having them be able to... Uh, we'll fake that. Like, being able to see survivors because of their items, it's, just so, it's so funny to me, dude. It is so funny. Oh. Oh, nice dead heart, dude. Oh, that was a good dead hard. I thought she made a mistake. You don't make it. You don't make it. You don't... Oh, I'm getting DS'd. New DS, too. New DS. We're just showcasing everything new today, huh? Oh, you done, you done botched that up. <laughs> Alright, we'll throw her up on the hook. Boop. All right. Yeah, this build. Uh, uh, is she stuck? Oh, is that the glitch I've been hearing about? I saved her. I saved her, guys. I saved her. I'll probably, like, if I can, I'll give her a hatch, all right? What are you doing, Alan? <laughs> Look, he's so confused. The bot's so confused. What did they do to him? What did you do to the bots? Look at him. He doesn't know what he's doing. He's out of control. Oh, he's still better than me. Look how much, look how much they crouch against Xenomorph, dude. That's so that that's that's pretty good. All right. I don't know what Michaela's doing, but she is not helping her teammates. <laughs> she may be doing a gen. No, oh, speak of the devil. And we see her because of the cattle prod. Does she know we're coming? Boom. She did not know we were coming. We'll we'll hook her up and we'll give uh we'll give Rebecca hatch because I'm assuming we can still see Rebecca if she didn't move. Yeah, that's a GG's guys. All right, so those are the matches. They went well. I think this build is awesome. I think seeing survivors auras with items being used against them is kind of funny. Granted, they have to use up the items, but the, the Xenomorph build actually worked out great. I would love to see if how much value I got out of Overwhelming Presence, but you can't see that, obviously. But you do know when survivors drop their items, they're forced to drop their items, right? I love that. I think, the perks, I think this perk's really fun. Not too sure about how viable it is yet. I'll probably do a few more experiments with it, add some of the other perks in. And we might have some more Vecna builds here soon. Actually, we're probably going to have another Vault Master just to check it out one more time for you guys. As always, though, make sure to slap a like on the video and sub if you want to. It does help me, and I'm so happy that we hit 500. We're going to be going for 1K next. I'm not quite sure what the reward is going to be. It's probably not going to be a tier list for Xenomorph. I don't want to do, uh, what, how many perks are there for uh, killer. I'm not going to do all those. I, I don't know what I'll do yet. I'll let you guys know when I think of that. We still got some ways to go, but I do appreciate all the support and I will see you guys in the next one. Hopefully you have a wonderful rest of your days, nights, whatever time it is for you. Peace.